I just don't know what we're going to do. This is something I don't think no one could prepare for. It's never going to be the same. It's not my home anymore. The fire started right here. It happened about, uh, like I say, 12, 30, I heard a big boom. One of my sons was born with a hole in the heart. He had to have an open heart surgery. I burned myself when I was working my other job. All of my finger, the skin, go away. His weight started dropping rapidly. Ow! From there, I found out that he had salmonella poison. Earlier this year, when my wife passed away, everything was upside down for me. No matter how much you think you got, hard times, it's going to hit everybody. Hard times can come in many forms, but often the need is the same. We didn't have any food, any water, or anything. We were completely out. Some of my medicines I had to do without, but I love this Olive Garden, everybody that works here. My uh, three-month-old son, had open heart surgery. One day alone was $185,000. I had to take off from work without pay or anything. And while I'm gone, I had to come up with the insurance money. So it was kind of rough. My father passed away and it was very sudden. And we had to get plane tickets to go home. I missed a week and a half of work. My father was only 63 years old. So we didn't expect to lose him. I hurt myself, I burned myself. I burned my hands, my two hands, my left hand, and my belly. I stay home for 20 days without work. My wife passed away because she had breast cancer. To so talking about her, it's very sad still for me. Everything was upside down for me because I have to pay all my bills by myself. I noticed Berkeley was having problems with formula changes and all of a sudden he started to get extremely ill. His weight started dropping rapidly, and I wasn't finding the answers I needed. So I took him to a specialist. The fire was so powerful. As you can see, it burnt all of this up. We had a little bit of money, you know, but not that much, you know, to really be out your house a long time. And my bosses immediately said, we must, you know, apply for Darden Dimes. My uh, coworkers really got darn dimes for me. They didn't die able to help me with the funeral. They was right there on time. Each year, over 1,200 members of the Darden family turn to Darden Dimes for help. It's a family charity or a team member charity that we do where we ask for every new team member to sign a form to just give 10 cents a week into a fund that can help a team member in need. It's a charitable donation that you can do freely. It's not too much money. Whether you contribute or not, as a Darden employee, Darden Dimes is here to help. And it's amazing how much good one little dime can do. Catastrophic events from fire or natural disaster, care of a family member, transitional housing assistance, relocation of children, emergency travel, funeral expenses. Each year, Darden Dimes helps meet the needs of our Darden family. I didn't know that Darden Dimes provided help for you to make sure that a loved one gets better. It helped me provide Berkeley with the things he needed. My manager called me in the office and he said, I got something for you. It was a Visa card and it had the amount of $300 on it. That made me feel real good that they really cared about us to do that. Darden Dimes also offers matching grant assistance when additional help is needed. When restaurant employees raise their own money for a fellow employee in need, managers can complete a matching grant request for Darden Dimes to match the amount raised up to $500. I almost cried.